Hello everybody, this is uh, CQ, and I thought I would come in and give you guys an update on what's been going on in Crater City. We've had a lot of building going on, um, a lot of projects finished and a lot of projects started. So, uh, well, first of all, you can kind of see off in the distance here, we have a great wall. And so far it extends about halfway around our town, but eventually it'll take up the whole thing and keep us safe from all the bad stuff on the outside. Um, I'm going to start the tour off here first by showing off our city flag. Uh, Vexi MC designed this for us, and uh, uh, it's supposed to be... Uh, ground with a crater in it for, uh, you know, crater city and sky. And then you can see the little sun there. I think it's very cute and, uh, it's very fitting for our little community. Um, second, in my last video, I showed the in progress, uh, licensing office and here we have it all finished. So I'll go in and give you a quick, a quick little tour. Uh, Crater City Licensing Office. And we go inside. And this is the reception area. Um, got a nice little cactus, a desk, and some seating. Uh, in this office, we have... Oh, stupid trapdoors. Over here we have an office with some books and a cute little rug and a desk and some very strange artwork on the wall. Um, that's office number one. And then over here, we have a, another office that's very similar. Different colored rug this time, and some more books. Although this one's without art, so whoever's office, whoever belongs to this office doesn't have anything on the walls just yet. Um, upstairs is our document storage area to keep all the important documents related to our city. And we've got uh, lots of bookshelves and in here, lots of books and lots of paper. Now that we're getting to the city phase of our development, there's a lot of bureaucracy and red tape and notes to be kept. Um, looking out this window here, you can see our brand new bell tower, which I think we'll go check out next. Uh, this bell tower was constructed mostly by me with some help with Vex. Uh, you may have seen it. If you watch Falaron's videos, he made a uh, video where he blew up my bell tower. Thankfully, it wasn't the real one that got exploded. But uh, that was quite the interesting uh, video to watch. So we have a nice big spiral staircase again. And up here we have the bell keeper's bed, signs to say sanctuary, and parlay. I'm not sure who put up that parlay sign, but I like it. And here is the tower and our bell. Uh, the, I think the plan is once we have enough spare gold or iron is to, to make the bell one of those colors. But you can see we've got a beautiful view over Crater City, and there's Cleo's awesome temple and one of our watchtowers. Now you can see our market district has quite a lot going on now. We've got uh, we've got our flower shop stall here, and you can actually buy flowers. We've got red flowers and yellow flowers. Here and up here we have a bakery. It's called CQ's Little Bit of Sugar Stand. And we have a cake. And you can buy bread, cookies, and cakes here. A uh, funny thing about that cake is I've placed it there several times. And uh, every time I, I come back over this way, a couple of more bites has been taken out of it. Uh, here we have a stall that has yet to be open. I'm not sure what it'll be, but I'm sure it'll be something great. And here we've got a melon stall, fresh fruit. So we've got apple and a melon slice. So uh, onto the, the, the stores. Here we have um, 
Vex created all of these stores. Where I think there's four or five of them here. And all of them were uh, created and set up by Vex. Uh, a fighting chance, weapons and armor. And you can go in here and you can buy some chain mail. And an iron sword, a flint and steel, TNT. Diamond sword not available. I don't know if we're actually going to have that available for sale. Um, and they can buy some iron armor as well. Uh, let's go into the next store. Here we have uh, the woolly package. Tailoring and leatherworking clothes and light armor. So here you can buy wool, leather, shears, and leather armor. Nope, nothing. All of the pricing in our stores are a little high. I think they're three times as much as they would usually be available for. Oh, the this is one of my favorite buildings, the Rigid Shaft. Um, this is actually one of another one of Vex's ideas, and it, I think it's really great. You can buy bow and arrows, a stone sword, feather, string. And we actually have an archery uh, range set up here. I think the plan for the future is to actually make moving targets here using redstone now that we actually have use of it. Yay! That looked like a good shot. And sometimes if you come in here at night you can actually shoot at spiders and stuff that get in here. So this is just a great place to come and practice your uh, bow skills. Oh, close. Uh, let's go on, let's see what's next. Um, up here, we already took a look at this store. This was the first store, and I it, it was shown in my last video. The bare essentials where you can buy pretty much basic supplies like cobble and wood. If you're uh, feeling too lazy to go out and farm those things today, what are you doing out of your pen? You know, if I had a pair of shears on me, I just... Actually, I think there's one in here. I need all of the uh, red wool I can get for my next building project. Which I'll be showing, I think, in a video coming not too long after this one. Or maybe even tacked onto the end of this building. Whoops. Okay. Noisy sheep. What's next? Um, well, there's a house here, and that is Phrase Razors. Oh, wait, this is just a empty house so far because we needed two dwellings in the market district. And this here is Phrase Razor's house, his uh, third house. Of course, at the beginning, he sort of bunked with Milby for a while, and then he moved underwater, and now he's living here. I think he actually modeled that after his uh, house in real life. Let's see, what else is there? I don't want to give too much away so far from my uh, next building project because I think I'm actually going to film the construction of that and then share it with you guys. Oh, one exciting development. Oh, we have a, a fountain here. Just a, a cute little water fountain. Here we have the community rail and the uh, boys have been busy actually setting this up so that you can go places with it. It's pretty exciting. So you can buy a minecart here if you don't have any or when you're done with your minecart you can put it in there for someone else to use. So let's take a little ride. Push the button. There are several uh, junctions and stopping points here. So you can uh, get out and get on the next rail system to go where you need to get. And our city has been expanding so much lately. It just takes forever to get anywhere now. I'll take the minecart back. And then mine and Vexy's house is not that far away. 
See, here's another track that goes down towards Valoran's place and Vex and... Oh, I'll go ahead. Oh, you know what? There's one more exciting building you guys should check out. And it's pretty awesome. I can't believe I almost forgot about it. We gotta go jump another, uh, jump onto another minecart here to get there. Go! Well, I was really hoping to show you this during the daytime, but as luck would have it, we've arrived here at night, so, uh, I guess we'll just have to go with that. Uh, Milby has moved out of his old house. It has now become the haunted sheep mansion after a uh, little fire set uh, kind of destroyed the place. Um, so he's got a new house here which is right behind me uh, in all its uh, woolly glory. So here we go. Ta-da! <laughs> Milby now lives in a giant sheep. You know, the first time I saw this building, I loved it. It was so great. And he was joking a while ago about uh, making a huge sheep. And I can't believe he actually did it. Um, that's something. Let's see. Shine of Aspros en Entrance. The Grand Master Sheep Aspros. I'm not exactly sure what Aspros means, but... Um, you can see, I mean, he... Went through a lot of detail to make a wonderful sheep here. And you can see we've got some brown wool here. Uh, Vexy, Milby, and I actually went on a long three-day trek out to the far, far north of our village. Ooh, there's a skelly on our soon-to-be wall. Uh, to find a brown sheep. And I can't believe we actually found one. And look, he's got a cute little tail there. Um, but he's been working on that. And... Uh, it's not finished yet, but he's getting there. There used to be an entrance through this hoof, but it's gone. So we're going to have to go inside the uh, official entrance here. And I'll show you what's inside. So we're actually ah, inside the lake now. And here we go. You can see, oh crap, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> um, actually, I bet I can just, I wonder if I can dig my way out. Sorry, Milby, I'll fix it, I promise. Oh, that's outside. Um, all right, I'm going to have to be very careful. I hope you don't watch this video, Milby. I wish I had some ladders on me, but I don't. Okay. I'll leave an offering to the sheep god before I go. Um, so you can see it's decorated. He's got some leaves decorating. He's got his bed and a couple little fountains. I think that lake that I just fell into is going to have a fountain as well. But he just hasn't gotten that far yet. And here in the face of the uh, the sheep, we've got a throne where he sits and contemplate all his sheepiness. See? So, uh, so far, I think that's, that's pretty much it for all what's gone on. Um... I don't really have anything of value to leave. You know what? I'll go. I'll go drop you something in your uh, mailbox. <clears throat> Maybe some nice watermelon. Oh, and down here he's got his uh, victory monument of sheep. You can see. Oh crap! <laughs> there's white sheep. There's blue sheep. And, brown, oh shoot, the brown sheep. I can't let the brown sheep go, because holy crap, we, did you seriously just, 
I don't have any wheat. And then down here is just more, more sheep. And maybe a spider. Hmm. You know, if I had some wheat, I'd drag you back in your cage. Um, okay, so let's go out here and leave a present. Um, I can't leave the red wool. I need the red wool. How about some nice sugar cane? Sugar cane's always yummy. Okay, so that's about it for today. I'm going to head back to home and, uh, I've been up all night, so I think I'll sleep till noon. And uh, uh, thanks for coming on my little tour here. Bye, everybody.